welcome back to the channel guys today's video we're gonna go clean the car because I live in Florida and as you can see it's pollen season so car is just completely covered every single day if you live in Florida you know this feeling disgusting deck food so thought you'd take you along give you guys a little couple tips and stuff that I do to keep my S550 looking clean since I do have to keep it outside, so you gotta wash it a lot since I don't have a garage. So, let's get it going. It's already warmed up again, so I can't give you a cold start. It's 90 degree days. And we're also leaving at the worst time of the day. I would recommend you guys try to go to the self-serve bays in the morning or right as the sun's going down but honestly i've done it in the middle of the day with the sun out and you can still make it work to be honest you'll get some water spots and stuff but you can still make it work if you really want to we're about to hop on the highway here at five o'clock this is going to be miserable Step one, we need to stop at the old Publix and we need to get quarters because I don't have any quarters for the machine. So we're gonna run in here real quick. We're gonna buy probably a f banana for 10 cents and get cash back and get quarters. While I lied about getting the banana, my roommate messaged me we need a dish soap. So I got dish soap, got cash back five bucks. We're gonna go next door to the car wash. We are here now. Let's see if there's a bay open. Maybe not. Alright, we got lucky. There's a bay. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Quarters obtained. I will say, I don't usually do my wheels when I wash my car at these. I usually do my wheels at home because I prefer to just have a bucket and not a timed amount of water so I like to use the hose because I like to take my time on each wheel and if you do it here you gotta rush and try to get all four done at once so I won't really be doing much to the wheels today I, I usually use wheel cleaner but we're just gonna hit it with just the regular soap and water and stuff today but we won't be detailing the wheels today so some of the stuff we're gonna be needing today I'm gonna use two or three towels I got a really big drying towel and that's important and then a second little super soft microfiber one and the only thing in here we're really going to use, we're not going to use any wheel cleaners or anything today, but we are going to use some, some spray wax. That's really important. We need the spray wax and we'll probably use some type of tire shine. Um, I really don't have a preference on tire shine. I've tried every different tire shine, the spray stuff, the stuff you put on with an applicator. I've tried them all and they all work great, to be honest. I don't have a preference, so use whatever you can find. I mean, I've used the cheap stuff, expensive stuff. I really like the coverall, that's what I've been using mainly. So, let's get these quarters in. We're gonna start by just rinsing everything on the car. We're just gonna hit everything with water first. Then we're gonna go straight to pre-soak. And I usually try to get this done in two little sections here. We start with 250. And there we go, we just hit it with water. You get your wheels, everything. Just try to get all the initial debris off the car that you can get with just the water, and then we'll move on to the pre soak. Make sure you lift your windshield wipers too. I gotta put the camera down. I'm gonna slap the rest of the quarters in because we're gonna get this all done in one run. Just let the pre soak kind of do its thing. It takes a minute to get it 
start working. It's just water for a minute. I will say you're gonna wanna test the water with these self-service bays. I've tried like five or six in my area. And I, I drive, I drive almost 30 minutes to this one because it's a lot better than all the other ones around me. So if you go to one, you know, some of them are more expensive. Some of them just stuff ain't working or they're out of shit. So that's super annoying. Find one that works for you. I drive all the way to this one because they're never out of stuff and it's cheap. So we're just gonna douse everything in free soap. And then we're gonna switch to the to the to the regular soap. Be careful when you wash your S550 when you're around your tail lights. Any S550 owners know when you spray these with the jet, it comes flying back at you. Trying to make sure I don't touch the car with the with the hose here. Got everything covered. All right, now we're gonna switch to. Uh, trying to do this with one hand. We're gonna switch to the wash soap. The car again completely. Sometimes I bring more quarters, but sometimes I'll just spend five bucks and do this pretty fast like this. It really depends on what you're feeling that day. Get everything soaked. Try to work from the top down. And let gravity do all the work. We're gonna switch to just the rinse. When I do a longer one, I usually will do wax, but today we're kind of just doing a basic wash here with just five dollars worth of quarter, so I kind of skip that usually. And we'll just go straight to the rinse, and we'll just put on spray on wax anyway, so the spray on wax will take care of it. And turn it off, we had 10 seconds to spare. If you're on one of these and it's super busy, and you know people are waiting, I want to dry your car in the bay, but right now, it's pretty quiet. I think there's multiple bays open, so we're gonna dry the car in the bay. Just try to be courteous of others if you're at these. Don't just sit here and dry your car while everyone's waiting for you to move. Next step, we're gonna grab the big towel here and we're gonna just try to get a majority of the water off, but we're not trying to get the car completely dry because we're gonna hit it with spray on wax. I just like to get most of the, the extra excess water. These S550s have a lot of spots where water just sits, like um, above the decal in the trunk. There's a big spot where a bunch of water sits. So we're just gonna try to get all the excess water off. And this is what you're looking for, guys. Every body panel is not completely dry yet, but just a little bit of water, we got the majority off. Now, the most important step of all, what's gonna keep it looking new for the longest, is gonna wanna grab a fresh towel. And if I can grab it here. I'm using this Jack Swag stuff, but you're gonna wanna just grab any spray on wax you can find i've tried like 30 different ones and honestly they've all done the job i've never had a problem with a single one just spray it on your towel hit each panel it's going to give you much better results than using no wax at all but it's a lot quicker than sitting there and waxing your car with the actual wax this is way easier and quicker so and you'll see the results very quickly this this stuff keeps your paint looking brand new for sometimes even a week or two but right now in florida it's not going to last very long because all the pollen but you can see the deck is shiny, beautiful. Tail lights, make sure you get tail lights. You're never gonna get all the water out of these tail lights, S550s, they weep for hours, it feels like, after you wash them. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But yeah, you're just gonna wanna go over every body panel just with a little air. Here's a before of the door. Here's an after of the door. Spray on wax is one of the most important parts of cleaning your car in my opinion. It gives you such a good finish. You can even hear your badges with the spray on wax. Keep them looking brand new and sparkly. And then with the windshield, I even hit the windshield with some of the wax. I spray it on once or twice. And I just hit the whole windshield with the wax. I know it's sacrilege to go in circles, but on the windshield I don't really see a difference. And there we have it guys getting a little dark out so it's hard to see but hopefully it's showing up good enough on camera 
car is super clean again. Number one thing I take from this video, if you guys aren't using it, spray on wax. Super, super important. I used to not use it, and I saw some videos about it. And spray on wax is just, gives you such a good end result. So hopefully this video helped you out. Maybe you learned a thing or two. So when I wash the car, I don't usually wash the wheels. I do that separately, but I do always try to at least dry them. I bought one of these wash mitts and I just use this to get any excess water off. But we'll detail the wheels in another video maybe. I don't know about you guys, but I always have to go dry off my clutch foot Ugh. and then hop to the car. Cause if you let all the water and stuff on the ground stay in your shoe, clutch pedal is just like the slipperiest thing on earth. recommend you keep your windows rolled up after you wash it because when I roll them back up they're gonna be covered in water again but honestly you can just wipe it off when you get home and when you park the car and they'll be fine again your windows